my india mind of india think bengaluru think green think lal bag but ever stop to think how one of india's largest botanical gardens remains green all year long right in the middle of a bustling city spread over 240 acres of green expanse lal bag is home to great flora and aquatic life and is a favorite amongst tourists and locals For a space that is home to over 1000 rare species of trees and plants, Lal Bagh's need for water and more is obviously high. How then are we keeping Lal Bagh green in a sustainable way? If we rewind back to 1760, the lake that spans across 40 acres now was the only source of water for the lawns with no open wells, bore wells or attempts for water conservation. the basic principle of the botanical garden is to keep adding uh, more number of uh, plant species from across the world and also from elsewhere similarly the water requirement also increases and actually during up to 2020 uh, absolutely it was uh, very difficult to maintain uh, the lawn in 2020 an effluent treatment plant was installed that processed 15 liters of sewage every single day and through the 1800 sprinklers in lalbagh the entire garden area received the treated water tapping into natural resources in a responsible way has been another solution for the water problems lalbagh face Bosch along with the authorities were able to create a system of 180 rainwater harvesting pits to make sure that the rainwater that earlier would go waste was utilized well. We have opened a rainwater harvest pit of almost 15 to 22 feet deep with 4 and 1/2 feet radius and then once it is uh, opened fully and they have given uh, protection uh, to the uh, existing soil by Uh, putting nearly about 12 to 13 cement rings with a uh, lot of perforation so that uh, the harvested water can easily percolate into the soil so that was the main technique and uh, finally they have put a perforated uh, cement lid and uh, since it is a visiting garden for a safety measure we have put one iron mesh below the cement ring so like that actually each rainwater harvest pit was uh, designed With each rain close to 15000 liters of water was harvested. Can you imagine the amount of water harvested with just 10 showers of rain in the city? Let us share some numbers. These measures have helped harvest 0.75 mld water so far with the infrastructure to harvest another 1.5 mld of water. Can you even imagine this volume of water going waste? Water harvesting pits and check dams were created by experts and it wasn't surprising that within 6 months there was a rise in the water table and a revival of the bore wells as well as the flora and fauna. Now after 8 months of the pits opening uh, we could able to see uh, there was a standing water up to a 8 to 10 feet. So that was a remarkable change even during uh, summer period. Usually we used to have a severe water problem during summer period. Most of the trees and the perennial shrubs, no, they came out of that very you know difficult situation during the summer also. So these are the major impacts on Lal Bagh. While the lake may no longer be the only source of water today, the condition of the lake is of great value for the aquatic life that it supports. Over the years, the level of dissolved oxygen in the water has decreased and algae formation has become the biggest threat to aquatic life. This lake is not like a river. It is not a flowing water body. So it is a stagnant water body and stagnant water bodies will not be able to have lot of dissolved oxygen because they are not flowing 
They say identifying the problem is half the battle won. But how was the problem tackled? See, the solution to this problem is that we need to pump water into the air so that the atmospheric oxygen gets dissolved and then it rejuvenates the lake. So for this, there is a process called aeration. So Bosch decided to install high efficiency aerators at strategic locations to see that the entire lake water body gets adequate amount of oxygen. It's interesting how we have all the resources. We just need to find the right ways to use them and technology plays a major role. The rejuvenation of the lake meant that the fragile lake ecosystem benefited immensely. The aquatic life could now thrive. Trees that are over 1000 years old now had the right source of water and the lake, home to many migratory birds, was healthy and ready. This kind of project relies on power and frequent power interruptions posed a new challenge. Bosch, keeping with its commitment to remaining sustainable, created a solar plant to harness the power of the sun. This helped the aerators receive high quality uninterrupted power which was also cost efficient. It truly is green energy for a greener Lal Bagh. We have a tremendous commitment to our neighborhood, community and the environment. So Bosch always would like to introduce such technologies which are sustainable and which will help in preserving the ecosystem for the future generations. Bangaloreans are connected emotionally with Lal Bagh. We have created special memories, we have found comfort in this green space and for many this is the place that means happiness, fitness and more. The combined efforts of the authorities, Bosch and the government with a common goal in mind have made a huge difference. It indeed is inspiring to see how Lal Bagh shines bright all year long. In this case, the grass is greener on every side. My India. Mind of India.